Hi, I'm John. Welcome to this Math Minute. Hi, I'm Julie Bidmore. I'm a parent coach, consultant, and founder of Intentional Parenting. I'm excited to be guest hosting some Might and Math Minutes where we'll talk about ways that families can support math learning at home. I hope you'll join us. Sometimes it can be hard for families to think of the best way to support math learning at home. Kids can resist the help and sometimes even say that their parent or guardian doesn't know how to do math the way their teacher does it. This is normal. In fact, most kids compartmentalize things and would prefer to leave math teaching to the educators at school. That doesn't mean that we should give up. There are many ways that we can help our kids to explore math joyfully at home. Supporting our kids' excitement about math ideas and learning is one of the most impactful things we can do. When our child asks us a question, we can respond with our own curiosity and interest in finding out an answer together. This kind of response models that we don't know everything and that there are different ways to find out more. It's definitely a mind shift for us to think of ourselves as coaches, co-learners, and enthusiastic supporters rather than absolute experts. Another way that we can support our kids is to take time for training or learning outside the bustle of busy daily life. If you've raised a toddler, you probably agree that practicing putting on a snowsuit in a playful way on a Sunday afternoon is a lot easier than trying to build skills in the morning rush. This unhurried, relaxed, and playful approach is a great way to support learning and connection. Sometimes we'll see cues that it's time to offer our kids practice with something. For example, they might notice that a lot of their peers are making the switch from tricycles to two wheelers, or maybe our child is expressing an openness to taking off the training wheels. Putting aside an hour on the weekend to grab a snack and a bike and find a green space to practice riding and falling is a simple but wonderful gift we can give our kids. The good news is for almost all math skills, there are fun ways to practice both directly and indirectly. There are creative ways to explore math at home and capitalize on our kids' strengths and interests, including books and games. We'll talk about these in future Math Minutes. I hope you've enjoyed this Math Minute. I'll see you next time.